Hello YouTubers, I've got a quadcopter which has a remote control unit powered by AAA size alkaline nickel cadmium or nickel metal hydride batteries connected in series of three. I decided to make it lithium powered and rechargeable via a micro USB port. Recently I tested the Queen battery QB10440 cell which is also a AAA size battery but has 3.7 volts nominal voltage. I'm gonna use it with a TC4056A charging board with integrated battery protection but I have to slightly modify it. It comes with a 0805 size 1.2 kilo ohm resistor solder on, which means that the charge current is about 1 amp. My battery's maximum charge current is 300 milliamps, and according to TC4056A datasheet, I have to replace that resistor with more than 4 kilo ohm one to not kill the battery. Before replacing the 1.2 kilo ohm resistor, I measured the current on a big battery. It was slightly above 1 amp. I replaced it with a 4.7 kilo ohm one and measured again. It started charging the battery at 270 milliamps, which is excellent. Also the board stopped getting very hot. Now let's take the screwdriver and open the case. There are two little screws to be unscrewed. Red and black wires are going from battery holder to the main board. I decided to place the charging board like this. It will provide easy access to the micro USB port and LED lights. Then I unsoldered red and black wires from battery holder and soldered it to the out plus and out minus contact pads of the charging board respectively. By the way, the remote control will work even while being charged. The B plus and B minus are to be connected to the battery. I soldered another two wires to connect the battery holder, red and black for positive and negative respectively. After that I soldered the black wire to the pad which carried the negative wire and the red one to the opposite side. Pay attention at where are you soldering on to avoid misconnections and shorting batteries. Now when all the connections are made we can test the assembly. As you can see everything works as it should. I've used hot glue which comes in sticks to fix the charging board but if I didn't replace the resistor it would get too hot during charging and would melt the glue. In that case special thermal conductive glue would do. After the charging board is fixed it's time to make some place for the micro USB port and make the lights visible from outside. I've used a Dremel with disc cutter, a drill with a thin bit to make holes and a hot glue gun to fill the holes with transparent glue. The final version looks like this. This is the hole for micro USB port. Not a perfect shape but whatever. And I've drilled three small holes on the side for LED indicators. A big drop of hot glue from inside would make the lights more visible and protect the board. Now let's assemble the case and connect it to a charger. During charging it will light red. When there is no battery inserted or the charging is finished the blue light will turn on. Now let's do a final test to be sure that everything works and the quadcopter turns on. Ok, it's done, it works. The way I did the conversion makes it very easy to go back to 3S alkaline or nickel cells. But if you are sure you will stay with lithium, there is a much better solution. Cutting the battery holder and installing a 104450 size lithium cell, like one of those made by Panasonic, Senyo and Maxell. They fit very well in the place of battery holder because the thickness is the same as that of a AAA cell and the width and length are suitable for replacement. The best option is Panasonic NCA 104450. In that case you will have 9 watt hours of energy instead of 3.4 watt hours with the best nickel metal hydride ones or 4 watt hours with free lithium ion 10440s connected in parallel. But with such a high capacity you will need higher charging current, so I'd recommend to leave the 1.2 kilo ohm resistor and fix the board using thermal conductive glue which will not melt at 50 centigrade. That's all for today. Hit the like button if this video was interesting, leave your thoughts and suggestions in the comments and don't forget to subscribe. Bye bye.